Elen Silla Lumen Omen Tielvo. Today, I bring to you all the legend of Tar Minastir, the 11th king of Numenor. Minastir was born in 1474 of the Second Age to Isilmo, the brother of Tar Telperion, thus making Minastir the nephew to the ruling queen. The name Minastir roughly translates to watchtower in the Quenya Tum, and he earned this name for on the hill of Oromet in the Andustar region of Numenor, he built a tall tower looking out towards the west. Minastir would spend long hours gazing from his tower, looking for Tol Eresea and Valinor. In these days, the elves would still visit Numenor from Eresea, and Minastir would love the elves, becoming great friends with the elves, not only in Eresea, but in Middle-earth, too. Because of these friendships, Minastir would yearn even more for the West, for deep in his heart he was envious of the elven immortality, even if he knew it not. Back in Middle-earth, in the year 1600, Sauron, the greatest servant of Morgoth, was revealed, and he would declare war on the elves. The actual war would not begin until 1693, when Sauron's forces entered Eregion, seeking the Rings of Power. Gilgalad, the High King of the Noldor, sent ships to Numenor, asking aid of the Numenorians. Minastir would be the strongest advocate for the elves, and due to his influence, built a navy for Numenor and would send them to aid the elves. There are some discrepancies about this event, as in the tale of years it is said Tar Minastir sent the fleet, implying Minastir was already king. Even though in the line of Eldros chapter of Unfinished Tales, he wouldn't take the throne until almost 30 years later. It is possible that being the queen's heir, that he held the greatest support for the elves, or that he was captain of the ships, and thus still gave the order to go. The fleet, under the command of Kyriator, arrived in Linden in 1700 and drove the forces of Sauron out of Eriador, routing Sauron in the Battle of the Guathlo. In 1701, the war was won, and peace returned for a time in Middle-earth. But the shadow in Minastir's heart grew, as soon the shadow began to spread to all of Numenor, for friendship and contact with the elves only continued to spur jealousy of their immortality. In 1731, Minastir was crowned king, becoming Tar Minastir, and he named his son Kyriatan, as his heir. In this time, the Numenorians grew restless and would sail into the east. Under Tar Minastir's rule, permanent settlements would be constructed in the southern parts of Middle Earth, near the future realms of Gondor and Umbar. The Numenorians who came to these lands were not like their ancestors of old, who were teachers and scholars but conquerors, taking vast wealth unto themselves. The worst of these offenders would be Kyriatan, who was greedy and desired great power. The relationship between father and son would become strained, and in 1869, Kyriatan would force Tar Minastir to abdicate the throne. While Tar Minastir was not yet ready to pass on his scepter, Kyriatan's relentlessness overwhelmed him, and in this act it is said was the first sign of the shadow to come in the downfall of Numenor. Minastir, for his part, would return to his tower and gaze westward, the longing never leaving his heart until his death 
in 1873. And so ends the legend of Tar Minastir. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And please let me know how I can better improve these videos. Thanks, and as the elves say, Namarie.